Hello, everyone, and welcome to Healing Roots Online School Virtual Open House for the 2022-23 school year. We are very excited to get started here, but let's go ahead and just wait for the last few participants to join in. And while we're doing that, you can, um, you're welcome to sit and listen to a portion of our school song. See the views and share the sky and share the views. Together we will study the world to find our place. Oh, healing boots is fun and great. No matter what you do, school will be there for you. It's flexible and awesome. We love the friends we make. like we have everyone on line now and so we can go ahead and get started um so here's our table of contents and a little bit about what we're going to discuss today first we'll talk about healing roots and what makes us different from other online schools and in-person schools we'll talk about who we are our teachers our staff our administration um, and that will lead us right into our academics and why our curriculum is so special, what our typical school day looks like, and then finally, tuition and enrollment. So here we are, and there's me, Nashira Tooting, the academic director. Hello. Hey there, Debbie Delisle here, community organizer. My name's Leah Willett, and I am your enrollment coordinator. Great. And um, we are here with you today. Um, you'll also hear a little bit from Jen Berry, um, one of our head teachers, Natalie, our social studies and history teacher, and also Jen M., our business administrator. So a little bit about us. We have designed Healing Roots to inspire and nurture each individual student. Healing Roots approaches education naturally and holistically. We combine a classical curriculum to ensure a firm academic foundation with an experiential and applied STEAM philosophy. Working with every child's unique learning type and rhythms, we create highly specific learning plans that support growth, imagination, and creative thinking. These are just a couple virtues and attributes that we really try to help develop within each student, their empathy, community, relationships, awareness, respect, artistic creation, environmental awareness, mindfulness, patience and friendship, among many, many other things. So when you register your child, we look into their unique learning style and then develop that with our, our classical curriculum to, as I said before, ensure firm academic foundations. With that, we weave in our foreign language and music program to help work all and strengthen all the parts of the brain. All of our curriculum is grounded in social emotional learning. So that way the pathways to learning are open for every child. Yes, we, we do that um, also through our STEAM related projects. These are the hands on problem solving, critical thinking, um, which we do through, you know, 
useful projects and things that people could actually build and make and do and it would make an impact. Um, and so all of that, you know, falls into the place based um, style where we are online school, but we've put a big emphasis on being offline and getting outside and being part of your local community and being part of changes and in, in, in contributions to the, the greater world beyond your own home and your own living room. Right, and that leads right into the global citizenship. We love at Healing Roots to focus on our, our community, our, our Healing Roots school community, and then our immediate communities outside of school, our families, our, our whatever town we live in. And then we extend that reach to the global community, connecting local to global. And one example we have of that is a project that the children did this year of, um, creating this beautiful artwork and then turning those into cards and selling them, doing a fundraiser to sell them to um, raise money for Heifer International. I encourage you to check out their website. If you get a chance, uh, they're doing phenomenal work in the world. And we just love to be a part of that work and to encourage our students and families to be in part of connecting local to global. So again, back to academics, um, we offer English language arts, the maths, the sciences, social studies, story of the past, which is our history class, music, art, outdoor ed, agriculture, foreign language, and all of this is grounded in social emotional learning and mindfulness. So at the beginning of every day, um, the students are, are grounded in a mindfulness activity. Um, and then in next year, we're also off, hoping to offer an ethics and coding class. So that'll be really exciting. Okay, so as mentioned in that global citizenship, um, we focus on community needs as central. Uh, this traditional schooling tends to miss the mark on this as they don't emphasize this uh, community building aspect as much. Um, with that, they are missing a perfect opportunity to cultivate thought leaders. So we like to teach our children, um, the students, how to make an actual impact, like how to identify the needs in their actual communities and then create this uh, social responsibility and giving them that actual feeling of critical thinking to be able to produce things that could be actually useful, things that they and their families can do to move things forward in this world. Um, and so that's a, you know, going back to this Heifer International project that um, Nishira just told you about, that was a, a, a little example of a way to connect what you're doing here all the way out across, you know, across the world. Um, and that's a, that's an opportunity that we do not like to miss at Healing Roots. Right. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah. Um, and here, going right along with that, is some information about the Healing Roots Community Schools. Yeah, it might be kind of going through your mind. How on earth are we going to pull off trying to get people uh, together when we're talking about being in our own homes every day and learning? Um, so we've got a plan for that idea. Um, the concept is in, in pulling together five to ten families, you know, within a close proximity to each other, about two hours, maybe three and us preparing uh, a schedule, you know, for folks to be able to meet up offline. And they could be weekly, monthly, definitely annually, and, and they would be designed specifically for your local community. So in those times of getting together, we would be doing educational field trips that would relate specifically to the curriculum that they're learning at Healing Roots. Um, we would get them involved in service projects so that would be for their particular local communities, finding out what the needs are there and getting the families together to uh, to participate. Um, and then uh, publishing parties, which are super fun, just an opportunity for the students to be able to share their written work and um, and have an audience that is very um, kind and, um, and thoughtful, which would be the other parents and the other kids in their pod. Um, Readers Theater is another awesome opportunity for families to be able to get together and, and give kids a chance to read aloud and practice their fluency and their accents and all that good stuff. Um, and then another awesome thing that we want to get into 
to is group classes when there's an expert in the community who knows um, something that they want to be able to share with everybody, um, getting everyone together and getting a chance to, to learn it together, all various ages. So it's your students and your, and your families together uh, with the adults. Also community gardening, because you, you got to have gardens and that's a beautiful thing to do to get people together in green spaces. <laughs> so the idea is that, you know, this, this is the opportunity for parents to get involved and become um, parent leaders and, um, and teach their children, you know, by doing and modeling how you do that. Um, and then where we come in is we, we will help put these things together and create these, um, these pod plans. And of course, one pod would not look the same as another pod because it would be designed for, for that particular group, that area. So right. it yeah, be very community specific. Yeah. Um, very exciting. We have our pilot pod, um, Healing Roots Community School starting this school year, 2022-23. And also our um, meetup in May and um, our opportunity for a live class this summer of building a straw bale structure. Yeah. So there's lots of ways for Healing Roots to bring what is learned online, offline, with your classmates, your teachers, your friends, and um, <clears throat> really creating this very dynamic environment for the students. So now we're going to introduce you to a snapshot of what our educational curriculum looks like here at Healing Roots. And we're going to start with math at Healing Roots. Our mathematical curriculum is focused on mastery, which is achieved through intentional sequencing of concepts. Some of the key features of the approach include the CPA, concrete pictorial abstract progression, number bonds, bar modeling, and mental math. Instead of pushing through rote memorization, students learn to think mathematically and rely on the depth of knowledge gained in previous lessons. An attitude that math is important and approachable is also essential. Students perform at a higher level when their potential for understanding and success is assumed. So how is this different from the way math is widely taught in the US? Well, in typical US math programs, students get a work example then solve problems that very closely follow that example, repeating all the same steps with different numbers. In Singapore math, which is what we teach at Healing Roots, students must think through concepts and apply them in new ways from the very start. Since they can't rely on simple replication, students are pushed to greater engagement and broader thinking. And in US math programs, concepts and skills are more compartmentalized within and across grade levels and then in Singapore math, where a strong sense of connectivity to past learning is woven throughout. Our math curriculum not only helps students become more successful problem solvers, it helps them gain a sense of confidence and resourcefulness because it insists on conceptual depth. This naturally prepares students to excel in more advanced math. Thanks, Leah. Now a little word from Trevor, um, one of our math teachers here at Healing Roots. Hi, hi. my name is Trevor Spence and I'm the math teacher here at Healing Roots Online School. We like to have fun, do a little multiplication, do a little measuring, do a little um, angle measurement, stuff like that. Sorry, my bad. It wasn't until I got home to my beautiful high-rise city apartment that I realized that I'd forgotten to talk about myself. Now, I do spend 95% of my day teaching, but that other 5% is spent on some pretty cool stuff. Now, first thing is I'm a big fan of Transformers. Um, I have been since I was a kid. I like to keep them at my desk uh, to fiddle with while I'm playing or setting up work. Uh, I'm a big fan of collecting physical music, so I collect vinyls, CDs, cassettes, and with that is all the fun old technology with it. Uh, and if I'm not doing that stuff, then I'm probably hanging out with my two cats, Mama and Oliver, who are my best friends, and I love them very much, but uh, back to that guy. I've been teaching for almost 10 years now, and it's a blast. Uh, compared to in-person school, one of the big differences about Healing Roots that I really like is I'm not just limited to the people around me. At Healing Roots, I get to make connections with students and teachers all around the country. I think it's amazing and has given me 
collaboration and insight that I've never been able to have. Um, so yeah, it's great. I love working here. Okay, thank you, Trevor. That was great. <laughs> All right, so music at Healing Roots. Uh, music permeates the being of every child that enters Healing Roots through singing, learning musical notation, performances, and instruction. It's our belief that music not only opens the mind to learning, but also opens the heart to understanding subject matter in new and innovative ways. And that little piece of music that you heard at the beginning was um, actually created by our math teacher and our students. Music teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now here is a little word from our music teacher about how music is taught at Healing Roots. Hi, Jennifer Cohen here. I'd like to take a minute to tell you why I think Healing Roots is special and also share with you some of my ideas about teaching music. I think as teachers and parents, we want to equip our kids with the tools necessary to become productive and compassionate citizens in the world. The question is, how can Healing Roots play a role in that? Well, I learned two important lessons when COVID hit and I took my piano teaching studio online. The first lesson is that uh, I realized several students clearly became more enthusiastic learners when they were in the comfort of their home environment. They loved showing me their stuffed animal that they kept on the piano or in one case, um, their cat that sat on the piano. And um, it was remarkable just how much more open they were to the process of learning. That made me think back to my public school days. And yeah, I thought of about 10 to 15% of the students I taught probably would have been more successful had they been learning in their home. The second lesson I learned is that out of, out of necessity, the students became more independent. And what I mean by that is, for instance, when they were at my house, I may have said I wanted them to start in measure four and I would have pointed to measure four in the music. I couldn't do that when they were at home and they had to ask, Jennifer, what do you mean by measure? So I realized I had been making assumptions about things that they didn't know. And that was really quite revealing for me. Um, over COVID, all of my students improved their music vocabulary, but it was fun to see them take ownership of their learning and to advocate for themselves. I would say their time management skills improved um, and overall, just their sense of independence and confidence. So those are skills that are much needed um, as adults in the workforce. And those are skills that come from um, taking ownership of your learning. As important as I think face-to-face -face time is, and of course I do believe in that, I think that actually a lot of great learning can happen online and that is a check in the box for Healing Roots. As far as my teaching music goes, I try to provide an engaging lesson where all students feel comfortable as we sing, listen, dance, analyze, compare, describe, and create music. It is through these activities that students begin to match pitch with their voices, recognize a variety of instrumental timbres, respond to expressive elements such as dynamics, articulation, tempo, start to identify elements of musical form <coughs> and recognize and imitate patterns. 
That last one is particularly important because music, like math, is made up of patterns. In fact, life is made up of patterns. And so the more we are able to identify and understand and possibly predict those patterns, the more we gain a broader and understanding of the world around us. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you and see you later. Okay, thank you, Miss Jennifer. Fantastic music teacher. We are so happy to have her. Okay, and back to our slides. Next, we have foreign language. All right, foreign language at Healing Roots. Foreign language is one of the cornerstones of our school that sets us apart. We believe in foreign language immersion from the earliest years, developing and strengthening those parts of the brain just as most schools do with math and ELA. We focus on strengthening the whole being. Every child that attends Healing Roots will be accomplished at not only the core academic subjects, but also have proficiency in a foreign language and music. And here's a picture of our foreign language teacher at Healing Roots, Long Jim. And she is really wonderful. The children just adore her. And now we'll talk a little bit about English language arts at Healing Roots. <clears throat> our comprehensive literacy program is filled with creative writing, poetry, memorization, dictation exercises, copy work, narration, picture study, and other classical techniques to develop the student's language ability. Our ELA curriculum builds strong communication skills by deepening students' understanding of the English language through engaging in thought-provoking rhetoric, public speaking, classical reading, and handwriting. Wonderful. And now here is a little bit um, from uh, Miss Jen, who is one of our teachers at Healing Roots. Hi, I'm Miss Jen. I'm the ELA and science teacher here at Healing Roots. When teaching ELA, which stands for English Language Arts, the students are allowed tremendous flexibility in what they write about, and they're always encouraged to tap into their creativity. Our uniquely small class sizes allow for more individualized attention and the opportunity for lots of growth. There isn't just flexibility for writing assignments, but also for projects that the students take part in. Since each child learns differently, they should also have options when it comes to how to show their learning. There really is something for everyone. The kids and I have such a blast bringing science to alive in our homes. Just because we're virtual, it doesn't mean that we can't do some super fascinating and sometimes kind of messy experiments in our kitchens. And what's really awesome is that we do it all together. The distance between us does not impact the community we have among us. Outside of our live experiments, we create other hands-on projects, such as terrariums, when learning about ecosystems and revisiting the water cycle, as well as building roller coasters to show kinetic and potential energy. We also take part in highly intelligent discussions, which are extremely engaging because we all live in different areas, so we're always learning something new from one another. And remember, the most important thing in science, my friends, <laughs> safety first. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. She is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Love this, Jen. Great. <clears throat> All right. Outdoor Ed at Healing Roots. Our Outdoor Ed program incorporates the concepts of environmentalism and conscious communing with the natural world. We engage our students in thoughtful weekly activities, often derived from Project Wild and the Coyote's Guide to Connecting with Nature, as well as concepts from the Leopold Project. Healing Roots teaches the leave no trace concepts and commits to its practices. 
And this is one of the things that is vital and sets Healing Roots apart from other online schools. We learn online, but we encourage the children to get outside and continue the learning, taking once again what's learned online, offline, out in nature, out in their natural environment, um, and connecting with those families and friends, building and developing relationships. All right, so now we'll talk about social studies and how interesting and dynamic as social studies is at Healing Roots. Healing Roots has created a cutting edge social studies curriculum, which is working to correct the social injustices of people and cultures worldwide. We engage students in exploring the interactions between people groups, culture, expectation, and language. Engaging students in the past and current government systems, encouraging them to higher order of thinking to see what has worked for whom and what has failed whom. Healing Roots focuses on service learning, which is an educational approach that combines service learning objectives with community service in order to provide a pragmatic, progressive learning experience while meeting societal needs, which engages students' understanding and taking an active role as citizens. Wonderful. Thank you, Leah. And now here is Natalie to talk a little bit about how social studies and history is taught at Healing Roots. Hey, everybody. Welcome there. My name is Miss Natalie R. And um, I teach social studies and I teach all manners of social studies. So I wanted to give you a little bit of insight on what we do here in social studies at Healing Roots. Um, Healing Roots is such a great place uh, to learn social studies because it's a lot about what you guys want to learn. So what I've done this year is I've implemented um, lessons from regarding uh, US history, social justice, world history, and civics, basically. And that encompasses encompasses all the way from kindergarten up through to eighth grade. So as an example for kindergarten, we were learning about who we are, what culture is, and our neighborhoods and communities. For the grades of three, four, and five, we were learning about a lot of U.S. stuff, but I threw in some world history culture as well. And then grades six through eight learned more of a traditional social studies curriculum where we start talking about how um, our country was formed and how we got to the place that we are today. So for example, um, sixth through eighth graders were starting the year off talking about West African cultures and that transformed into how people from West Africa came to Americas via slavery um, and other methods and how we kind of interact as a community and nation today um, with an emphasis on the atrocities that have happened in our country. So the goal here at Healing Roots for Social Studies is to make our students aware of their surroundings, to take part in social justice endeavors, whether it be a protest, an online signing of a petition, or actually getting out there and contacting our representatives in our areas. Um, Social studies is such an important and integral part of education. And I know that social studies sometimes gets kind of put off to the side because we have to think about math and science and writing. All are important. But social studies actually helps us shape our, our world and move us forward in, in life. So um, my, my approach is to have students look at a holistic view of social studies, whether it is about world history, what's going on in the world, or here at home with U.S. history. And I incorporate lots of, um, like I said before, social justice topics and civics into both of those components um, in order to give our students a well-rounded um, sculpting of social studies. Um, at Healing Roots as well, social studies is somewhat tailored to what students want to know. I've done lessons where students have emailed me and say, hey, Miss Natalie, I really want to learn about XYZ. 
and I make a lesson about it. So it's a great way to have a nice formal education of social studies while incorporating all of those awesome individualized pieces that Healing Roots can give to students. Um, thanks for listening. And I hope you learned a little bit about our social studies community here at Healing Roots. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Um, take care. Bye. Bye. Okay, thank you, Miss Natalie. That is wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> and here is um, just to just to say a little a little bit about art here at Healing Roots. Um, we just posted these beautiful art projects that our students did this year. Um, back earlier when I was talking about the global citizenship. Uh, portion of, of school. Um, I had mentioned the children made these art projects, turned them into cards, then did a fundraiser for Heifer International Organization. Um, and these are the cards that they made. So they turned out really beautiful. This is only a portion of them. Um, but yeah, the, the children were very excited about it and they did a fantastic job. We we're very proud of them. So that covers most of the academics um, at Healing Roots, at least a, a little intro to our academics at Healing Roots. This is our sample school day schedule. As you can see here, we have scheduled classes Monday through Thursday. Fridays are always reserved for field trips, outings, hikes, social events, um, family, family trip to museum, or, you know, if, if your student does any sort of soccer or gymnastics, we also like to leave Fridays open for that. Um, but I encourage you to look deeper into this schedule and see how um, Healing Roots has really put importance on outdoor education, music, and foreign language, as well as science, mathematics, and ELA. Mm -hmm. One side note I will mention, um, Miss Natalie had mentioned that the the program she was talking about was K through eighth grade. Um, I will say that for next year, we have a, we're really excited to announce that we have a high school program opening. So we do officially have um, Healing Roots High School and um, that same program, but developed much deeper will be offered to our high schoolers. Great. Well, here we are at the how to enroll portion of our of our slideshow, and I will let Leah run with that as she's the enrollment coordinator. So any questions that you have, you can always, always reach out to me and I'll help you to, to walk you through the enrollment process. For a basic overview, what you'll do to get started when you enroll is start with registering at our website, which is www.healingroots.com edu.org. There you'll click on the big enroll button at the top of the page. You'll fill out the form and submit your application with your application fee. And just be aware that our open enrollment registration closes in August for the next school year. At that point, once your enrollment is, um, and registration is complete, you'll be able to pay your students tuition. Tuition from now until July 1st is set at a discounted rate of $6,689. After July 1st, tuition will increase to $7,389 for the entire school year. So make sure you get yourself enrolled before that deadline. Next, you'll register your child um, as a homeschooler with your state. If you have any questions about how to do this, feel free to reach out. I will be able to assist you. Um, with that process. And then as of September 5th, school will begin and we'll be happy to welcome you in. Thank you, Leah. One question we often see come in is people asking, where are we? And that's a great question. Um, right now, we have students that range all across the United States and Canada. 
Um, I would say the majority of our students are on the East Coast, but now we have opened enrollment for the 2022-23 school year, and we're getting applicants in from all over the continent. So we are literally everywhere. And again, that's one of the beauties of online school because we get to see out each other's window. We get to see where each other lives, they're, whether they're in a city environment or a desert environment or a mountainous region. Um, sometimes it might be sunshiny hot at one student's, out one student's window and out of another it's um, blizzard, snow, wind. Um, and, and the students really love that it gives them a, a picture into the world and into other people's lives. So that's been one of the greatest benefits I've seen over the course of the past few years of online learning. Well, this is one of the best quotes. Everybody's a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Thank you, Albert Einstein. Yes. So we love to focus on that first part of that quote is that when we have a student enroll, all of our administration and teachers recognize that they are a genius and it is our job and responsibility and privilege to bring that out of each student, bring their genius to the surface and help them to realize their unique gift to the world. So we are, we all, I can speak for myself and everyone else on the Healing Roots team that we all feel very privileged to be able to have this opportunity to work with these unique and wonderful beings. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much um, for coming online with us today and being a part of our 2022-23 school year, our open house um, virtual open house, and we hope that you go to the website, click the enroll button, and um, and we hope to get to know you from there. Come if, join us. Yeah, come <laughs> join us. <laughs> um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to, um, to say them now. We have a couple minutes here, and then I will turn off the recording, and, and anyone who has any further questions can um, can jump on. You will stay on the line with them. Email us anytime. We'll get you all your questions answered. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I do see a question here um, of what time zone our classes are in. Um, so currently our classes start at 9 a.m. and they end to 3 p.m. And that is an East Coast time. Um, so our West Coast students actually uh, will just wake up early and their classes start earlier for them and they end earlier as well, giving them giving them the whole rest of the day. Um, that being said, I forgot to mention that our high school will have a later start time. So that will be that will be specific for the high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, any other questions? I know we have we have a few more minutes. Okay, great. So I'm going to end the recording here and anyone else who'd like to stay on the line and ask questions is more than welcome to. It was nice meeting you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.